Hi Aquarius and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive. Welcome to the month of May 2022. Let's go ahead and get started and take a look at what wants to come out for you. We're going to see what is most important for you. We've got some really cool decks to use. So let's start it off with what it is uh, that is uh, keeping you, uh, what you need to keep from the past month that's going to be important to bring into May. All right, let's take a look at what that is. Oh, whatever is ended, it wants you to keep it ended, guys. Definitely keep it to an end. Uh, and then we're going to find out what you need to release from the past month and what is going to be the main theme of May coming towards you. What do we get? Oh, you guys, this is so beautiful. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. What it, Whatever you put to an end, guys, this is what you need to be remember as you come into the month of May, is that whatever has come to an end, whether it is getting, this is um, any sort of loss, any sort of anxiety, uh, old way of thinking of sorts, it needs to be kept in the past, right? And this could be something that has stemmed from, uh, you know, childhood of the past, but this is saying is to let it, fall. Let it fall, right? Uh, let that be gone. That's going to be really key. And so that's what you want to uh, remember as you move on into the month of May. Um, it's you want to keep the whatever is ended, ended, all right, as you move into the month of May. You're going to know what this is for you here. This has to do with reasoning of the mind, it's sword energy. Um, so it is air energy. So it could have to do with thinking of a mindset, a way of thinking, or some sort of loss that has taken place, okay? Now, what you need to release from the past month as you move into May um, is action and moving forward on something. There is some sort of action that you had continuously done, uh, and it, it, there's something that, um, that you have focused in on. This is like um, you need to release... You know what I'm getting? For some of you, you've been procrastinating, okay? And I, and I think that you guys know I'm pretty blunt when it comes to my reads. Uh, and I know that uh, my reads aren't for the faint of heart, all right? But I am telling you that uh, this is uh, this is something about, um, this is about like not, in the past you didn't maybe take action on a few things. Maybe you felt that maybe you were afraid of what the world might think of something. Um, and I get a stall, like putting on the brakes of the truck, the big truck that's outside. Um, and so what this is saying is that you kind of, something has come to a screeching halt, like you procrastinated. This is so interesting. I didn't plan that, <laughs> but it's like the brakes are squeaky. It's like you're putting on the brakes of something that wants to go and, and taking action. So any sort of procrastination that you had that kept you from not moving forward, um, it wants you to, uh, you know, release the procrastination so you can move forward. And then what do we get for the overall theme in the month of May? We get the page of pentacles. And so guess what this tells me? This is so cool. It's what you've manifested and what you want to bring to fruition. You are getting a message. Now, for some of you, this could be a job offer. For some of you, this could be opening up a new business. For some of you, this could be a new project. It's what you're manifesting, Aqua, here, right? Because when I get the pages, it's about a message coming through of something that it, it's about manifestation of some sort, okay? So there is an opportunity for you to bring something forth. This could be a new job, new money, a new news, new raise. Uh, you know, I don't, you might, uh, this could be a, being a student of learning in some way, but this is about, you know, some sort of manifestation, uh, that is coming through as well. So I think that if there's something that you're manifesting that you want to come through, this is saying you've got an opportunity, you know, in terms of making that happen, there's an opportunity for that to come through. Whatever it is that you're manifesting has an opportunity to really uh, shine through. Uh, and that's Capricorn energy. So let's go ahead and put this aside, uh, knowing that this new beginning, is your theme and let's start out with the first week and see what's coming on for you here okay uh so what is going on for you for the first week uh nice guys uh so we've got the ace of swords the two of wands and the king of cups so what i feel that is really happening and moving uh for you here is i think we're going to be making some connections coming through here there's going to be some sort of power victory and clarity coming through for you here and you're going to be able to make some progress uh, and this is in terms of balancing your emotions uh, through it all, okay? So I feel that there is a strong opportunity that you have some sort of victory that is coming into play. You might not be aware of it, but this is, uh, you've overcome something, 
for some of you, you've overcome something, okay? Um, and uh, and and I think that this, uh, you because you've done that and you've made progress with the Two of Wands, you've made progress on something that you're very passionate about in your world. And uh, whatever it is, is that whatever you've made progress in on has balanced your emotions out incredibly, all right? Uh, so this is saying that um, there is, you're being raised to a higher level level. There's some sort of higher level of frequency that is moving through you. And, and the real, I got cosmic connection in terms of like your, your, your activation of your soul in the first week. So this tells me that, uh, understand that any challenges that are coming to you at this time are here to help you grow and evolve to a higher state of consciousness. So if you feel that, you know, that something has held you back in the past and you've gone through a lot of changes in your life, a lot of uh, trials and tribulations, this is saying you are, it's kind of like that, especially um, if there were challenges surrounding you that tug at your heartstrings, okay? Um, this is about, uh, coming into a new connections that are going to bring you greater clarity and are going to bring out the radiant light within you in the first week. Okay. So I think that spirit sees your hunger and desire for change here. And so because of that, uh, this is about you, uh, having the passion and the thirst for planetary healing on this earth. Some of you, you already know what that is. Uh, this is about, you know, to keep going and to know that you are not alone, that the universe is working with you on this, right? And, and it's about, um, you're that visionary of love and you, as you raise your own love vibration, which is one of the highest vibrations you could ever have, you assist others in their awakening. And this is what's happening in the first week, guys. It, and what, what are your spirit guides? Any advice from your uh, spirit guides uh, coming through here? What do we get in the first week? But we've got something that's going to balance your emotions. Make each day count. Remember I talked about that procrastination? Make each day count, right? So that's what's coming through here. It does want you to focus in on that. And uh, whatever that is for you, uh, that new business, uh, that new, you, maybe you're, you're taking on education for some of you, uh, but it, 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 maybe you're moving forward, uh, you know, whatever this is, uh, this is about, you know, take each day as a brand new day coming through for you here. Okay. And it affords you a new outlook. So if you've had an old outlook of something that in the past, you know, that, that didn't serve you, you are, uh, you know, you're no longer going to procrastinate. This is about moving forward on your theme of your brand new, uh, way of being and doing. And this is saying, no, you're a new, you now. you're a, you, at this moment, things have shifted for you. Yesterday is gone. It's gone forever. All right. And you can never, you know, relive that again. So now with each new day coming through here, focus it with compassion and discover yourself like you never have before. All right, guys. So you've got this opportunity that is coming through here. Okay. So some of you got, a, again, a brand new opportunity. So that is in your first week. Let's go ahead and take a look at your second week. Uh, what is coming out for you? Uh, what does Aqua need to be aware of? Whoops. In your second week, what's coming through here? Second week. What do we got? Uh, let's see here. Nine of Pentacles. Uh, we've got the Queen of Wands. Nice. And we've got the Four, four of Wands. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay. Uh, anything else in terms of the second week for Aqua? What do we get here? Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Unconditional love, guys. So we've got the Nine of Pentacles, uh, the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Wands, all right? So the Nine of Pentacles uh, is an opportunity for you. This is moving you forward. Um, this is being, you know, that independent person, being having everything that you have, being in luxury and in deep gratitude for where you're at. Uh, getting out in nature. I mean, the animals are loving you. And I think that you, for some of you, if you've got animals at home, you might be talking to the animals, you know, Know, talking to your animals uh, a little bit more, right? In terms of, uh, uh, you know, I don't know what it is that you want, you know, uh, what's next for you, right? So the, um, it, it, it is about being, uh, 
um, you know, it, it is about that that uh, that Mother Earth, uh, you know, kind of like um, you know, kind of like energy that's coming through. But being in being deep gratitude and luxury, uh, some things are coming to fruition. Now I get the Queen of Wands coming through here, and um, this is shifting your energy. Like she's here to show you how to shift your energy. Could be doing with the fire sign. They're shifting your energy. Um, you're transforming your energy to bring forth balance in your life. The Four of Wands, happy home, harmony, to bring that around you. And even marriage, it can indicate as well too, guys. Um, but I'm getting a lot more reasoning and pentacle energy. Like you've worked hard at work. You've, you've balanced your energies. You're creating balance in your life. And it all, a lot of this has to do, guys, um, because you're having unconditional love for others as well as yourself, right? It's a 34 card that reduces to a seven. And this is about having faith, right? So this is about, you know, like in love, guys, for some of you, this is coming up in love. Some of you had conditions that others need to be met, right? So it's like a, a conditional love rather than an unconditional love. And that conditional love is you've got to be this way, uh, you know, for me to feel good, right? And, you know, Abraham does talk about that a lot, Abraham Hicks. And it's all about, you know, you having conditions on love. But this is saying you've shifted. Look, just like the camera did. I know I'm not even touching the camera, guys. My feet are right here. I'm not even touching it and it's shifted. So, you know, oh, <laughs> crazy. But this is telling me that uh, you are no longer having conditional love. It's all about unconditional love. Because you know your balance. You have understood, uh, you know, that uh, you are responsible for your own energy. You can't have someone change in order for you to feel good. You have to change, right? So you have shifted into unconditional love right and accepting others as they are right and um, you're at a space where you um, you know it, 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 how do I want to say this if you're in a space where love is conditional ask yourself where it stems from right and most often it's a limiting thought or belief that's lingering in your subconscious and it's usually a, a, a childhood wound from the past. And so that could be, again, what some of you are putting to an end. They want you to keep it to an end in this month, especially going on, you know, in, even into the second week. So this is reminding of you uh, that, you know, to uh, focus on the gentleness of love. And you're going to be a bit better able to see that wounded child, uh, not only within you, but within others. And you can clearly see the part, even in others, that is most in need of love right so this is beautiful guys really beautiful okay so unconditional love is without judgment it's without conditions it's without expectations or demands it's a love that comes from the heart space guys and it is pure love forgiveness and compassion right so not an easy thing to do but it's what's coming out for you here guys and so what are the messages uh from your guides that want you to be aware of in this second week what do we get patience is a virtue <laughs> so being patient in this process guys being patient in the process of of you moving forward and balancing all the energies out here is what i feel here so some of you've got an opportunity to shift your energy you're in a, a beautiful point in terms of your pentacles and such. And for some of you, it could be a new home. Maybe you are creating balance in your home. Uh, it could be creating a, 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 a beautiful environment in the home. It could be changing environments. Uh, it could be moving in with someone. You guys are going to know what that is. But there is a new opportunity that could, could even involve a move. Okay. So third week, what's coming out for you here? Let's take a look at what that is for you. Uh, third week for Aqua, what do we get? Third week of May 2022, what do we get? Uh, the Empress Energy, Major Arcana, another Major Arcana, the Hangman, and then we get the Four of Swords, okay? So, uh, with this, what's coming through here is uh, a lot of you are, are, are let me just focus, let me get one more card here, what do we get? Oh, Compassion. <gasps> So here's what we get here, guys. So we get the Empress card, we get the Hangman card, right? And then we get the uh, Four of, of Swords, getting the rest that you need. There's been delays of getting rest, right? So for some of you, there could be that uh, the Empress energy talks all about 
Um, this is all about feminine energy. This is all about beauty, right? So for some of you, you could be starting a beauty channel, beauty, uh, something relationship to beauty, or you're focusing on taking good care of yourself. Uh, you're taking on this empress energy that's coming through here. I figure there's been some sort of delay in a situation. Uh, and, and so uh, you've been getting, this is about getting the rest that you need. If any sort of delay is coming through, it's, it's for you to get the rest that you need within a situation in the second week okay but this is focusing on loving you treating yourself um, you know with compassion uh, uh, you know also through this process um, anything else in terms of that wants to come through uh, for you in this uh, third week five of wands if there's any sort of obstacles that are coming into play this is saying uh, you know let those uh, you know this is about seeing something from a different perspective and, um, you know, there's going to be delays. So it's about getting rest in this process. So if there's any sort of, uh, uh, you know, push and pull or obstacles uh, from deception, uh, this is saying is that, you know, what it wants you to do is to know that you've got options. Uh, you've got options to choose from. I get the Seven of Cups, uh, Seven of Swords, and then the Five of Wands. If there's any sort of obstacles regarding any sort of deception, it wants you to uh, focus on your options and get more rest, right? Get more rest is going to be necessary for you here, okay? So it's very key in the third week. Um, for some reason, you know, with this Empress energy, I just feel that uh, it's just really focusing on taking good care of yourself, having compassion for yourself in, in this process as well. This is a 10 card. It's, you know, you've got some sort of ending with this brand new beginning and you're still kind of working through some of those remnants of that. So within this third week, it's saying really that uh, love with compassion for it's, it's, it's a reminder that compassion starts with you. So I want you to learn from your experiences. Learn from your experiences, even the ones that were most challenging, and forgive yourself for the experiences that may have caused suffering, okay? You don't want to carry any sort of judgment, uh, you know, uh, of internal judgment that's going to bring you pain. It wants you to let that, that go, okay? So let that go. Any sort of challenging deceit of the past, it has you delayed in that, and it wants you to get the rest that you need. Um, and not to close your heart or build walls around you. If some of you have been staying in a little bit more um, and closing your heart, this is saying it does not serve you. It takes you further away, Aqua, from your truth. So if you've been doing that, it doesn't mean that you should stay in a situation that you're, you know, let's say mistreated, whether it's at work or in a relationship of any sort. Um, it, it's, it's saying to put boundary, you know, and, and it, to put boundaries, right? Uh, uh, this is saying is that you can move away from a situation that doesn't serve you for your highest good with love and compassion still in your heart. Like don't let that, don't let that uh, kill the opportunities that are available for you, whether it's in love or otherwise. Okay. Cause this is coming through here. Okay, be your, your affirmation should be to fill your thoughts with gratitude, compassion, forgiveness, and love. It's not easy, but a lot of you are the teachers in this and you have gone through major lessons. So you could, you're, so you're that cosmic teacher in this process, right? So don't close your heart or build walls, bless it know it's wisdom from the past and move forward creating you know healthier boundaries and and uh, move away from situations that don't serve your highest good but do it with love compassion uh, that is still in your heart and so what to do your spirit guides have for you here in terms of moving forward as well <laughs> you are here for a reason you are here for a reason Whoa, guys. See, I just told you that. Didn't we just talk, talk about that, right? So, uh, yeah, whatever you're manifesting, I still keep her with this manifesting coming through here. It's like this new beginning of manifesting and bringing to fruition what it is that you want. This is your theme for May. So let's take a look at the fourth week of May and what's coming through. This is fantastic for you guys. This is so fun. It's confirmation for a lot of you, right? Yeah, here we go, the Queen of Swords, oh, Ace of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so beautiful. So um, this is what we're getting. Um, so in the um, in we got the Queen of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. And then let's go ahead and pull this. Wow, we'll get to this in a second, guys. This is powerful. So we get the Queen of Swords, 
and the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, okay? So the Queen of Swords is very uh, much a quick thinker and she has influence over her perception. Like she is uh, willing to compromise, but she does uh, have, you know, uh, creating healthy boundaries to cut off what is no longer serving her as she moves forward on a brand new path. Remember this, uh, your theme for the month, she's holding that pentacle. Well, looks what's showing up here. Guess what's right in your chart? The fourth week of May, manifestation comes to prosperity here. So when I get the uh, uh, the ace of pentacles, this is manifestation and prosperity coming through here. Now, this could be uh, someone coming through as well. You've got an opportunity. Uh, nights are about motion, moving forward with motion and putting in the work that's necessary. This could be you doing that in your world, putting in what it is that you manifest uh, with healthy boundaries and moving forward strongly and solidly, all right? Uh, and this is what I feel that is, is coming through for you here. It's all pentacle energy. A lot of you are focused on changing your mindset and focusing on your work and your manifestations. Guys, it's coming through so strongly here. I'm getting more of that than anything, right? Not a lot of cup energy coming through in the month of May. Now, it doesn't mean that love can't come through. It just means that you're shifting and you're recalibrating how you want love, what you want to see in love, and creating those boundaries and putting them into place. Healthy, um, you know, uh, healthy love, um, you know, that you want to come through for yourself. Now, the next card that I get uh, in terms of your, uh, your, your cosmic card, which is from the soul, is I'm getting the number 36 card. Now this is world within worlds, right? So in the fourth week, what this talks about is a reminder to look within yourself for answers, all right? Uh, it's wonderful that you're, you're open to opinions of others, but this is saying, be discerning. And if there's someone that's more, there's no one more discerning than the Queen of Swords, and this is you. <laughs> Guys, right? So it's being discerning, right? You are a master and creator of worlds and galaxies within you. And how you are, you know, um, as the creator of your world affects your outer world uh, that you're a part of. So your inner world affects your outer world. And that's why this card is called World Within Worlds, right? So this is about expanding and growing in power, clarity, and truth. And that's what you're doing in the month of May. Your truth in love, your truth in the work that you do, uh, your, your legacy that you want to leave. Uh, there was a reason why lessons in previous months and you know have been before you. Uh, because remember in week three, it came through, you are here for a reason, right? So this is saying is that see yourself as a greater body within, uh, you know, and, and within you, uh, within you, it's like, there's like a greater body within you, right? You've got your inner and outer, and even within you, there's another cell, right? There's a cell within you, right? That holds the vibration to you and, and the light of you, your spirit. And so, uh, if a cell in your body is in balance, that, that sickness, uh, it can cause sickness and that sickness uh, starts to spread to the rest of your body. And, uh, there's no, not a perfect video for this than the one I just created. I'll put it up here and it's in my, uh, we'll put it up here guys. You can check it out, but it's how to own yourself. And it talks about this. And, uh, uh, this is saying is that it's vital that the vibration on this earth is raised to that positivity, uh, that affect the greater universe. Right. And, uh, this is about bringing forward peace and change. So this is huge. This is big, guys. Uh, so what uh, do your spirit guides want you to know in the week four overall? What do we got? Be of service, you guys, being of service. is it, We just talked about this. A lot of you are, are, are workers of making this world a greater place to live. And there's no greater calling in that, right? Other than following your purpose of what part of that and what your mission is as it relates to that theme right? You're here to bring greater good to this world, right? And what you're manifesting is bringing that forth. Some of you have a new job coming through here and you are putting in the work and you're putting, making slow, making the movement into it slow, but it's solid, right? It's powerfully solid. So some of you got a new job or a new way of bringing your manifestation to this world. This is so powerful, guys. I, I mean, I'm in awe. I Note your comments below. Uh, smash that like button if this resonates with you. And guys, have a magnificent May. I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.